Hello everybody, my name is Beastmaster Gaming and today we're going to be taking a look at why you wouldn't survive a robots battle. Some of you guys are like, this is a weird video, I was waiting for my um, ranking every robot from worst to best video. Yeah, that, that thing is taking me way too long. And I'm going to be making a ton of videos and posting them this weekend, yeah this weekend on like Saturday, due to the fact that I'm, I'm going to be out on vacation for like a week so I won't be posting too much. And so, I'm going to be telling you guys why you wouldn't survive a War Robots battle. I got inspired by Wild Such Gaming. If you guys don't know him, then please check out his channel at Wild Such Gaming. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. In case you don't know how big these robots are, they are huge. And I have to say so myself, they are really, really, really huge. A small robot is actually, like the Kosaka or the Loki, is actually at least 60 feet tall. Some of you guys are like, that, that's big. And in the game, they're tiny little adorable things. Well, I'm just saying that Kosak looks adorable. Like, in my opinion, it looks adorable. But these robots are as big as a Jaeger. Do you guys know the Jaegers from Pacific Rim? These things, yeah, they're as big as those. And I hope I don't get copy strike for using this clip. But that's not the point. They're, they are big. In case you didn't know, that was from uh, 2016's Pacific Rim. Not the trashy sequel that came out like two years later, no. It's the OG, the original, okay guys? Just making sure you guys know that. Okay, hey, so we're going to be talking about the bullets. Like how big the bullets are, like Punisher, Moloch, Tempest, Avengers. These bullets are actually really, really big. Like in comparison to a normal average mortal, these bullets are at least a size, like three feet tall. As you see in this image here, this is a tank shell. They're basically, we're basically shooting tank shells, not m any mini bullets. No, these are tank shells, guys. And 200 of those in sequence. A Punisher has 225 bullets in it. It literally says in the description, 225 bullets. But the, the, these are huge. huge. They are very, very huge. And I'm not even going to count the Kang Day and Trip Budget ammo. That stuff... It's not even through like five foot long stuff. No, you're basically tr um, freaking throwing a tank at that person. Like, oh, yo, hey, catch my tank with my Kang Day shot. What do you know? You're shooting tanks at people. Uh, does it sound ironic? I, I think so. Yeah, it does. Okay, so with that info out of the way, now we can get to the juicy parts of this video. The reason you wouldn't survive is because there are 12 robots. And 12 robots may seem like a little bit, but in reality, you have to remember, these robots are 100 feet tall, 60 to 100 feet tall. And let's say one of them is using a Punisher, just shooting one magazine, like 100 rounds or 50 rounds, would completely cripple a building, topping it over. Imagine a Kang Day shot, that would literally go straight through the building, and it would literally knock it over. And let's not imagine, okay, let's not forget, the fact that these robots can step on cars. They can step on cars. That was probably, that probably hurt your ears. I'm sorry about that. But I have to say, these robots are huge, hugely huge. I'm saying huge a lot in these videos because they are big. I, I am not underreacting or overreacting. No, these things are big. They are big enough to step on your car. They're big enough to go through your house. Like, hey, a Cossack looks cute and tiny in the game. In real life, that thing would probably stop in your car and then go straight through your house. It doesn't matter. But if, like, let's say a Fenrir or a Leo, it would just walk straight through a building and then just keep shooting and firing. If it's a Hellburner, that thing would literally blow up. Like, if you kill it, it blows up and it would knock everything. It would be like a nuclear bomb, basically. It would be like a very big bomb, a very big explosion. And in the game, it doesn't look that big. In real life, that's probably like eight blocks gone, you know, like a mile gone of just pure city. In the game, I think it's, I think it's at least two blocks gone if the Hellburn completely explodes and dies. And let's not forget, hey, those Hellburners, like if they have two Hellburners, well, you're screwed. If they have an invader, in the game physics, the invaders get stuck on everything. In real life, it would break through, it would break, it would just break everything. I cannot talk today, guys. I had to redo this video like four times already. And, well, yeah, if the invader jumps up and lands back down and the suppression doesn't actually make gusts of wind go flying for 13 miles an hour, that sounds like a little. Actually, let me restate that. 80 miles per hour, pff, that sounds way too much. That, that would be the case because the invader jumps 
lands back down super fast, which would literally just boom, bunch of wind. Yeah, that's not the biggest problem yet. If these robots are 100 feet tall and they step on the ground like a Fenrir, that would cause a mini earthquake, which would knock over several buildings and cause tons of casualties. And if the military starts getting engaged, well, you know your, your city's screwed. If it's a little town, it's even screwed. Or it's even screwed. Or I don't even know if that's a word. No, but your, your town is completely gone at that point. There's not even a town. The robots are like, hey, what town? I don't remember a town being here. Yeah. If it's a city, then well, dang, that would look epic on a movie, you know? Pixonic should make a war robots movie. That might be hard, actually, but yeah. That, that's a pretty good reason on why you wouldn't survive some of these stuff. But you have to forget. And war robots, they have spaceships. So if spaceships are fighting and war robots are fighting on the ground, and then we have the military coming in and fighters just blowing each other up, well, then you got a full scale war in your neighborhood. What do you know? Anyway, guys, that's some part of what's going to happen if, war, if you were in the middle of a war robots battle. In most cases, you'll die. If you, if you have plot armor, then yeah, you'll survive. If you're Kyle Rogers, yeah, you'll survive. But in reality, you're, you're just gonna die. Like, I'm sorry, if you think you can um, freaking John Wick your way out, you're not going to John Wick your way out. Your car's probably going to get stepped on or blown up by a hellburner. In most cases, you'll probably just get stepped on or blown up by bullets. Speaking of bullets, imagine a thunder. Just two shots would destroy a building, like a tower. Th this is getting insane. Like, on my point, there's no way you'll survive. If you're like really far away from the battle then yeah you'll survive you can just move somewhere else but if you're like right in the middle of it 10 out of 10 you're dead there's nothing you can do you're just a goner just admit you're dead it'd be awesome to record and post on instagram maybe even live stream like oh my god guys war robots are real this is morgs signing up and then just get blown up <laughs> i don't know i was just thinking of morgs because of scrubs anyway guys yeah that's basically it i've said this like i'm gonna end the video right now but I have so much on my mind, and surprisingly, I didn't curse this video. Anyway, that's enough about today. Please join my Patreon page. Also, like and subscribe if you're new. And also, please like my video. And, well, yeah, I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos. Maybe in, like, tomorrow. If Wait. If you live in another country, please tell me, because... I get confused on the dates. Maybe like tomorrow's today or yesterday's today. I don't know. It's confusing. Anyway, guys, this is Beastmaster Gaming signing out. And enjoy your day. Stay with your family. Be happy. I've got a reason to keep fighting. And so I am walking. Again.